your hub for accurate, timely, actionable information. Seasoned investor or novice, we've got you covered. Welcome to Funco. Ever wondered how Dish TV India Limited is performing in the stock market today? Well, at a price of 18 rupees and 55 pays, it's down by 65 pays, showing a decline of around 3.38%. But don't let this drop fool you. Dish TV India Limited is a prominent player in the direct-to-home services sector, providing a myriad of channel and movie options to its customers. Their product range is pretty comprehensive, including the Dish SMRT Hub, Dish NXT HD, and the Dish Smart Stick, to name a few. Across India, they've made their mark, serving over 9,450 cities and towns. That's a coverage of more than 37% of the satellite TV market in India. Quite impressive, isn't it? With its extensive offerings and wide reach, Dish TV India Limited certainly has a significant presence in the Indian satellite TV market. It's crucial to stay updated with recent news when investing. So, what's new with Dish TV India Limited? In the world of mergers and acquisitions, it's been reported that Bharti Airtel Limited is eyeing a significant chunk of Dish TV India Limited. This potential acquisition could dramatically reshape the direct-to-home services landscape and strengthen Bharti Airtel's hand in the competitive Indian market. Meanwhile, the Delhi High Court has ruled that Dish TV India Limited cannot claim exclusive rights to the word Dish. While it may seem minor, this ruling may have implications for the company's branding strategies and customer recognition. In the stock market, the company's shares have been on a bit of a roller coaster ride. There's been a consecutive drop in the stock price over five sessions. While fluctuations are part and parcel of the stock market, this downward trend has undoubtedly grabbed investors' attention. These events have all occurred while Dish TV India Limited continues its services to more than 9,450 cities and towns, covering over 37% of the satellite TV market in India. Indeed, the company's position in the Indian DTH industry remains significant despite these developments. In a nutshell, from potential acquisitions to court rulings and stock market swings, there's been no shortage of action surrounding Dish TV India Limited. These developments certainly paint an interesting picture for Dish TV India Limited's future. Analysts' predictions can provide valuable insights into a company's future. What do they say about Dish TV India Limited? Well, the financial wizards are forecasting a robust earnings growth for the company. This anticipated surge is primarily due to the company's significant position in the ever-expanding Indian DTH industry and its potential growth opportunities. One such opportunity lies in the stock's recent breakout in the weekly time frame. This could be a beacon signaling future growth, adding to the optimism surrounding the company's outlook. But, as with any business story, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Profitability remains a formidable challenge for Dish TV India Limited. To turn the tide, the company needs to navigate a sea of competition and operational costs, while also ensuring customer retention and satisfaction. The road to success is never straight or smooth, and Dish TV India Limited is no exception to this rule. However, despite the positive predictions, Dish TV India Limited still faces some significant challenges. Let's delve deeper into the company's stock ratings and shareholder information. Acute Ratings, a prominent credit rating agency, has recently downgraded Dish TV India's bank loans to a BB rating with negative implications. This rating indicates a moderate risk and suggests potential difficulties in the company's ability to repay its loans. It's a significant factor that investors should take into account when assessing the company's financial stability. Now, let's turn our attention to the shareholding pattern as of December 2023. Promoters hold a minor share of just over 4%. A noteworthy shift has been observed in the holdings of Foreign Institutional Investors, or FII, and Domestic Institutional Investors, which include mutual funds. Both these entities have decreased their stakes in the company. This trend could be a response to the company's financial performance or market dynamics. It's important to remember that a decrease in institutional holdings doesn't necessarily spell doom for a company. It can also signal a shift in the company's strategy or risk profile 
that may not align with the investment objectives of these institutions. Conversely, it may also indicate a lack of confidence in the company's future prospects. This information provides valuable insights into the company's financial health and future prospects. As investors, it's crucial to stay informed and interpret these signals to make sound investment decisions. Before you go though, we've got some fantastic recommendations for you. If you're into stock market news and updates, you're going to love these picks.